So there are all sorts of ways for us to take a string in Python and turn it into a list. And this is something we, we're going to want to do quite a bit. Now, if I say s equals abc comma df comma ghi, looking at it, we see that we should be able to break this apart into three different fields. So how am I going to do that? Well, I can use s dot split. If I, s dot, if I say s dot split, split will always return a list of strings. Always, always, always. There's no way around it. Split always returns a list of strings. Um, and the strings are, of course, coming from s. We haven't changed s at all. And we get back here a comma. Well, we get back here the string minus the commas. Wherever we're saying here is wherever there's a comma, that's where I want you to cut. OK, fine. Um, so split is really useful when you're getting input from the user, input from a file. You want to split it. It's sort of like a super cheap version of CSV. I would not use it instead of CSV because there are all sorts of nuances there. Later in the series, we will talk about the CSV module, but this is a good way to go. Okay, so what are some other ways that we can use split here? Well, I can say s equals a, b, c, d, f, j, j, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, m, n, o. Let's do another one, p, q, r. Okay, and if I say s dot split on comma, that works just fine. But what if I say, you know what, I want to get a maximum of three fields back. I don't want to get all the possibilities. So I can say s dot split, comma, and I can say two. And two equals the max number of cuts. So I say here, cut at comma, and cut at comma, and all the rest we're going to leave as it is. You can see that the street includes comma, includes our delimiter, which we hadn't previously allowed for. What if I say s equals abc df, and I say s split comma, and then two? It'll still work. This is the maximum number of cuts. It's not going to like complain if uh, there aren't enough there. So split is pretty great. What if I have this same thing here, and I want to do it up to two times? That works just as we saw before, but then I say, no, 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 no. Actually, what I wanted is to get the last things. So I want to have all the stuff in the string, and then I want MNO and PQR to be separate fields. So I can say s dot r split of comma and two. And then what happens is it does still those two cuts, the maximum of two cuts, but it's working from the right side rather than from, from the left side. Most of the time I end up using split, regular split, but every so often I need R split as well. And now you see how it works and how it differs. What if I say S equals A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. I can say S dot split on space. Fantastic. Now I've separated the words. I have each of the words and I can do something with them. But what if my string is a little messier? What if I have here space, 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 space. Now I do S split and well, it did what I told it, which is every time you see a space character cut, but now I get all these empty strings. So what you can do is you can say s dot split with nothing, right? This means you know, you know, argument equals none. And now when argument equals none, it takes all white space, space, new line, carriage return, tab, and vertical tab. All those are considered to be um, places you can cut, and more than one of them as well. If you know regular expressions, you can think of it as a backslash little s plus. And so it'll cut on all these. This is super useful when, again, you're getting input from the user or from a file, and you don't know what kind of white space there might be in there. OK, what else? Well, I can say here, uh, I, there's another method I can use. If this is my s, well, actually, let's do this, like a, b, c, d, f, g, h, i, j, k, l. I can say s dot partition on comma. And s dot partition on comma will return a three element string always. It's the stuff before the delimiter, the delimiter, and everything after the delimiter. So it's sort of like a limited use case for split, except that we also get the delimiter back. So we've got the stuff before and after plus the delimiter. And there's also an s.r partition of comma. And that works, of course, on the right side rather than the left side. So you can see that using split and r split and partition r partition, we can really cut up our strings and get back lists in various ways. And then what typically happens is we iterate over the list and do something with each thing. Two more things having to do with this. One of them is, what if you have a string like this? So we now have double minuses separating our fields. Can I do s.split on double minus if I can type? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Any string can be used for splitting. So you don't have to worry about if it's one character or two characters or five characters or 10 characters. Although if you've got a 10 character field separator, there's probably something wrong with your data. Um, but you can set split on anything and you always get back, once again, a list minus those delimiters. What if I read information from a file? Then I'm going to be doing like s equals abc new line df new line jhi new line jhl new line. Can I use split on that? Yeah, well, first of all, I could just do split with nothing. 
and that's going to return those elements. But that, of course, is going to also use white space. So if I have here, for example, JKL MNO, now it has separated JKL and MNO because that's white space. What if I just want to do it on a new line? I can say s.split on new line. And that works, but you see I get this empty string at the end because, well, after the new line, there still is something. So there is also s.split lines. And then it's going to return the string as, well, we're going to get a, a list back based on the string. And yet yeah, it splits on the new lines, but it doesn't give us that empty string at the end, and it doesn't touch our space in the middle. You can also say if you really want to s.split lines keep ends equals true and then it will as the arguments uh, as the parameters name implies it will keep the new line characters as well.